Hello children, welcome back to my percussion studio here in North County Wexford. I'm Noel Eccles. On my last programme, I explained to you the difference between pitched and unpitched percussion instruments. Pitched instruments are instruments that give you a definite musical note, and an unpitched instrument would be something like a tambourine. Now you may have some pitched percussion instruments in your classroom or at home, and I have a few examples here. You might have some chime bars, or you might have some of these little hand bells. Or another thing you might have might be this little glockenspiel. Now this is laid out like a piano keyboard, with the accidentals up here and the natural notes here. On the piano, the accidentals are black and the naturals are white. Now let's have a look at a professional glockenspiel. The brilliant sound of the glockenspiel. It's made from metal and as the bars get bigger the notes get lower. Now you can hear this instrument played with two sticks at the same time. I do this. You can also add a third stick. Or a fourth stick. Now with many of the percussion instruments you can change their character by changing the type of stick you use. So I've used quite hard sticks so far, so let's hear them with something much softer. So it changes the character. Now another metal percussion instrument, or tuned instrument, is the vibraphone. Let's have a look at that. The vibraphone. And like the glockenspiel, the bars are made from metal. Small bars at the top, and as we get lower in pitch, the bars get much bigger. Now one of the differences between the glockenspiel and the vibraphone is this vibraphone has resonators here at the front and underneath the natural notes and these resonators act as an amplifier for the notes. The sound goes down the tube and makes it louder. I also have a pedal on the instrument that allows me to let the notes ring or to stop them or damp them as we say. So. Now the part of the name vibra is there because the vibraphone has the ability to create vibrato and this is done by turning a motor on and when I turn the motor on it makes these little wheels underneath the uh, bars turn around or fans and they create a vibrato effect. Let's hear that. Now I can speed that vibrato up. Now there are other metal percussion instruments that are pitched and I'm going to show you one that's rather unusual. They're called crotales. The crotales. They are tuned metal discs laid out the same way as the piano keyboard is with the white notes here and the black notes at the back. Now they are very brilliant and they will ring on for a long time but sometimes we're asked to play them with something unusual. Now 
This is a double bass bow. The double bass is the biggest string instrument in the string family. And the players pull the bow across the string and that creates friction and that makes the note sound. Well, we can create the friction on the crotales using the double bass bow. So we get the sound with no attack that you have with the stick. So the crotales. Now let's have a look at some other unusual metal tuned percussion instruments. Sometimes as percussionists, it is our job to create an atmosphere that evokes a country or a place. And here's a good example. These are tuned gongs from Thailand. Now we have an A and a G, and you can imagine as these get lower, they get really, really big, so they take up a lot of space. But just wait till you hear the sound of these. They give a real Eastern feel. Now also, there are times we are asked to create the sound of things like church bells or cathedral bells. And we would use what are called tubular bells for this, which are long tubes of metal, hollow, that you would hit with a hammer on the top of them. And that creates a very bell-like sound. Now often when I want to create a sound of a bigger bell, like a church bell, I would supplement the tubular bell with this. This is called a bell plate. It's a tuned aluminium plate. Now just imagine this sounding as a church bell does. And you can imagine if I have an octave of these, the amount of space it would take up. That's some of the metal tuned percussion instruments. Now let's have a look at one of the wooden instruments. The marimba. You can hear it's quite rich sounding. Now the marimba is part of the wooden percussion instrument tune family. At the top of that you have the xylophone, then we have the xylorimba, which is, encompasses the range of the xylophone and part of the marimba. Then you have the marimba and you have the bass marimba. Now, like the vibraphone, we have resonators under the bars, but there is no fan in these, so we don't have the vibrato effect like you have with the vibraphone. But let's hear the difference when I block off the resonator and then when I open it again. You can see how it amplifies the sound. Now, the xylophone is a different instrument in the sense that it is usually played with much harder sticks than the marimba and has a much brighter sound. So the top part of the marimba is encompassed in the xylophone range as well. So just let's hear what that would sound like with slightly harder sticks. So it's much, much brighter. Now, all of the wooden percussion instruments can be a family of their own. As can all the tuned percussion instruments, really, we can play them together. So I'm going to put a little piece together, a little percussion orchestra. Now I'm going to have some help from some of the unpitched instruments as well. So see what you think of this.
See you next time for some more of the wonderful world of percussion.